the real American Pitbull Terrier versus the fake dog that called himself American Pitbull Terrier. I'm working on my website right now and I run into this picture right here, folks. Excuse my dogs, by the way. They're bark puppies, whatever. But listen, I want to tell you this very important message. This the image you see here is not a real American Pitbull Terrier and it was a magazine called Dog Fancy. They changed their name today. You can Google it, it changed to something else. I remember that back, this was about back 2011 when the idea of, this was one of the reasons, by the way, this is an epic moment when I decided to create and popularize the terminology of real American Pitbull Terrier, which later understood that most people don't call the dog American Pitbull Terrier, but they know him by only Pitbull. Pitbull with a single word, not separated. There was a rapper that just took this name, the American Pitbull Terrier breeder practices of the real American Pitbull Terrier. It became illegal in 1976, although it was perfectly legal and accepted by all societies, policemen, judges, and everybody in the 1800s. Society changed in 1976, it became illegal basically. So. With that vacuum, people started using this name, Pitbull, separated the words pit and then bull, or just one word. But anyhow, this dog here is not associated with the real American Pitbull Terrier. So these guys have this uh, special edition about uh, 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 this dog in the cover. And it's not the first time where the dog's being in the cover because it's a very popular uh, brand, Pitbull. That's the brand right there. This is the brand and this is a fake product. This is what they had built on the neighborhoods and they popularized, they call them the blue nose, they call them whatever. This dog does not fit the real American Pitbull Terrier at all. He's not associated with courage. He's not the best dog. Some people might have some of them that are very nice to the children because they might have the sparkles of the real dog. But these dogs are the ones that are causing tremendous these problems of society, killing people, hurting people, because bad genetics. So you got a group of people that tells you, ah, it's, it's, it's not the, it's how you raise them. The dogs are perfect because they believe on this, this Ethiopia or everybody's created equal. And it's, no, no, there's bad genetics. There's bad genetics in humans. There's two good people, a man and a woman, they want to have a child. They love each other. They're perfect for each other, but they just do a genetic test and they, they bad for genetics. Well, dogs is the same thing, and those genetics affect how they are. That comes also with the epigenetics, the development of stupid idiot people that sometimes use the dogs to attack other people, to become younger dogs, and so on and so forth. I wanted to show you what I did on this, but these guys, this magazine here, contact me heavy. They charged me $2,900, which I rented one full page on this magazine. You can look it up. Uh, let me see if I can see the date. You, you can put American Pitbull Terrier um, Dog Fancy Magazine and you can probably find it online. And in the center of the magazine, you're going to find a red nose dog called Champion Awesome Buck by Open House Kennels, Chico Lopez. And um, that was my dog. And it was the only real American Pitbull Terrier in the whole entire magazine. I want to make sure that people understood what a real American Pitbull Terrier was. I want to make sure that people knew. And I, I then later understood they didn't even read it. But that was from the beginning when I started to create the page, therealpitbull.com, to instruct people, to help people find the real dog. I am in 2023 right now and less than 1%. In other words, over 99% of all dogs people call Pitbulls are absolutely fakes. The XL is not a real pit bull. The double X is not a real pit bull. There are some XLs that tell you they come from the old family red nose and genetically they might come from the old family red nose, but the selection for size and everything else is different. And then they infused some other dogs and they created this giant pit bull on Netflix, which is fake, it's not a real pit bull. And let me tell you something, you might like the dog. He might be a, a good dog for what you want and maybe a good pet. Some of them kill people, some of them don't, but they're not the real people. They're not the dog that created the terminology on their dog, top dog. They're not the dog of America. They're not the greatest dogs. They're not the nanny dog of America. The American people Terry is the original dog that comes from a dog called Pit Dog. And then later, 
The AKC says, we don't accept this dog, but they took these dogs to create their own little brand called American Staffordshire Terrier, which they deformed with their own judges, with their own process of development. So the real American Purple Terrier is not the American Staffordshire Terrier by the AKC, and it's not, sadly, because since the guy from the UKC gave the name American Purple Terrier with the separate words right here. And, you know, the UKCs just don't have real American Purple Terriers anymore. They just don't. They got show dogs and stuff like that. The show dog is not a real American Purple Terrier. The American Purple Terrier is very few of them left. My name is Chico Lopez. You can always find me at chicolopez.com. My phone is 806 500 5552. You learned something new today. I hope that this added value to you. Share it with your friends. You want to have a discussion about it with your friends. Go over the information. Open up your eyes. Open up your mind. Believing that this dog is an American Purple Terrier is as close as believing the earth is flat. That's not the real American Purple Terrier. For many people, it might be a good dog, and you could call him something else, but not an American Purple Terrier. He's not.